Hey, everybody, welcome back to another class on Verbling.com with Teacher Abby. This class is a conversation and writing practice class. We're going to have a lot of opportunity to practice. Hi, Ali. Welcome back to class. Hi, Abby. Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I hurt my back. I can't move my arm. <laughs> Why? What happened? I don't know. I just must have moved kind of funny, and now it really hurts. Oh, be careful. <laughs> Abdallah, welcome back. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. I'm great. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. It's been a long time since I've had you in my class. Yeah, I was busy. Well, it's good to see you again. Welcome back. You too. Thank you. Jose Luis, welcome. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you? How are you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking. What's the weather like in Mexico? Uh, it's a little cloudy, teacher. It's cold. Uh -huh. I think that in a couple of hours can change. And I, it will be yes. sunny. Sorry? It will be... It Sunny. Sunny. I hope so. Do you like the cloudy, cold weather, or do you prefer the sun? Mm, I prefer rain weather, teacher. When it's raining, rainy weather. Yes, for me it's the best. Obviously, if I am in the beach, I prefer sunny. <laughs> it's sunny true. Weather. When you're when you're needing to go to work, it's easier to go to work when it's rainy, isn't it? If it's sunny, it's kind of like oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, teacher. <laughs> Good to have you back, Jose. Alexi, welcome back to the class. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, hi, be hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome back, Alexi. We're happy to have you. It's the same for me. <laughs> and Eduardo. Eduardo, welcome back to the class. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Good to see you. So today's class, we're going to be talking about the four directions, north, south, east, and west, but not really. We're going to be talking about words and pictures that we associate with those areas. So we'll have a little conversation, and then we'll do a quick writing exercise where you guys will practice writing sentences about pictures, okay? And uh, let me say hello to Stefano. Uh, hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you. How are you today? Oh, fine, thanks. It's my first uh, experiment in, uh, with these lessons in Verbling. Cool. Welcome to Verbling. We're happy to have you. Thank you very much. Stefan, uh, Stefano, are you from Italy? Yes, I live in Rome. Very nice. Welcome to the class. And Fidel, welcome. Hey, hello. How are you doing? Hello, hello. How are you today, Fidel? I'm pretty good. What about you? Where are you from? I'm from Nicaragua. From Nicaragua, welcome. Nice to have you. I'm doing very good. I hurt my back a little bit, but I'm just fine other than that. Javier, welcome. Hi, hello. I'm fine, thank you. Hello? Hi, nice to meet you, Javier. Where are you from? I'm from Madrid in Spain. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Is the Verbling chat working for everybody? Can we use the Verbling chat? Yes. Yes. I think so. Awesome. There we go. So we'll try to use the Verbling chat for today's class, okay? Now, before we get started, we're going to talk about words that we associate with other words. For example, when you hear the word north, what does it make you think of? Let's start with Stefano. What do you think of when you hear the word north? I think of mountains because I come from the south of Italy. So for me, the north is mountains, uh, snow, uh, beautiful landscapes, uh, um, and a little bit cold. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. What about you, Alexi? What do you associate with north? Well, it's um, <clears throat> it's an ice, it's a snow, it's a snow. <laughs> uh, it's probably uh, I don't know. I don't know why I imagine this, but it's a forest with all the trees uh, covered by snow. 
and uh, in the night, in the windy weather. <laughs> Is it enough? Good description. Thank you, Alexi. What about you, Jose? I think yours might be a little bit different. What do you associate when you think of the word north? United States, River Cross. Uh, Monterrey is a city in Mexico, mm, is in the north of Mexico, with typical food. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know, especially North America, United States. North America, United States, north of your own country. Yeah, so it could be local, what's, what's north of your local country, or it could be global, right? Let's skip yes. over. Let's skip over to Javier. What do you think of? Well, for me, it depends. If I, if I think of the north of my country, I would say it reminds me of green mountains, uh, gray skies. And if I think of the north of Europe, I would say Germany, um, Sweden, <laughs> Denmark, and that country. Perfect. Very good, Fidel. Um, I think I don't know hats, boots, cold, cold weather, mm -hmm. raining, all that kind of stuff. It's people are more that kind of I don't know. Yeah, they're winter. You could say winter clothing, hats, boots, maybe gloves, right, Eduardo. Yes. And the, the question is, what do I think with the word north? The yeah, but tr try not to tell me about weather. Say something different, other than weather or temperature. Okay, well, I with the word east, west, north, or south, I think in wind. Because I go fishing every weekend with my boat, and I always uh, <laughs> consult in the, the wind in the coast. Yeah, so I don't have high waves. <laughs> yes, I remember you're a cheater when it comes to fishing. Yeah, <laughs> I have a lot of <laughs> devices for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever brings home dinner, right Eduardo? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, what about you? What's the north of your country like compared to different parts of it? What's it known for? North? Uh... It's the uh, same, ice, uh, snow, uh, cold weather, maybe uh, polar bears, Eskimos, <laughs> and some people live in the uh, north of the world. Mm -hmm. Very uh, good, and Abdallah? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, in my country, uh, uh, north of my co country, there is a forest and a uh, rainy region near the Black Sea. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing, Ali. And what about you, Abdallah? Okay. In, in local case, or where I live in this country, mm -hmm. the north is the, it just for fluent people or uh, high class people. You, you will find there uh, the wonderful cars and the big houses. Uh, and good places. If you want to hang out, just go the north to north. Very good. Yeah, when I think of north, if I think of my own area, I would say northern Canada. I think of no people, extreme cold, um, wildlife like wolves and polar bears and other kinds of animals like moose, and not no cities. That's what I think of. Welcome to the class, Jonathan. How are you? Hello, teacher Abby. I am fine, thank you. And you? Awesome. Thank you for asking. I'm doing very well. Nice to have you with us. Thank you, teacher. So let's go ahead and take a look at our document. Oh, like I said, this is a writing class, but we're going to be speaking as well, okay? We're going to have a chance to practice a lot of different things. So the idiom for north is up north. It simply means to or at the northern part of a country or the world. So when might you say in your country, let's go up north? 
When would you say that? Who would like to give me an answer to that question? Well, here in Spain we don't say that. Uh, is I don't, I don't know why we say the place maybe or the region. We don't say up north. It's not that big like the United States. So I suppose it's different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's let's pretend then that somebody English speaking is in your country and they say I'd like to go up north. What would they go there for? What would they do up there? Well, we have in Spain the frontier between Spain and France, and we have the Pyrenees. So I go up north for skiing, for example. Perfect. I want to go skiing. You would say you better go up north. Anyone else think of a different example of when you might use that expression, that idiom? If someone wants to go to the to the seaside and doesn't want to to go to a place really hot and I would mm -hmm. say okay let's go north, let's go up north because you can have the seaside and you will suffer high temperatures. Perfect. Excellent example. Anyone else? Oh in our country in Italy if we say let's go up north uh, maybe for uh, working for work reasons so we mm -hmm. think about uh, cities like Milan or sometimes uh, Turin or uh, normally we don't use this expression uh, because if we, we go there for vacation or for uh, maybe for skiing or for other things we just uh, uh, call exactly the name of the city or, or of the area uh, in which we are going to so but we can say let's go up to the north uh, for working reason maybe. awesome Good example. Thank you very much. And that's the same in Canada, actually. If you want to make really good money, it's when you go up north. Nobody wants to live there, but you can make good money going there. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Anyone else want to share before we continue? Good examples, you guys. That was awesome. There, there, is, there is nothing uh, at the north. I prefer the south in my country. <laughs> Obviously, I prefer the South, too. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes up North is where you got to be, depending on your circumstances, right? All right, let's, let's describe some pictures. Abdallah, picture number one. Describe it to me in the best detail that you possibly can. OK, that uh, uh, fox is running on the snow. In, in cold weather or freezing weather, uh, absolutely good job. What colors do you see? Is it tropical? Yeah. Is it bright and green? Brown, brown, white, brown, brown. and white. Yeah, and probably a bit of gray, right? So yeah, who can yeah. tell me, is this a fox? Is this a fox? No, it's a wolf. It's a wolf. It's a wolf. Awesome. So a wolf. A husky wolf? Uh, what's the... Could be a... Uh, I, I don't know. No, it's a wolf. It's not a husky. It's a wolf. It's a, probably a Canadian or North American wolf. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Why Has anybody wolves? here ever seen a, a wolf? Has anyone here ever seen a wolf? In the zoo? Not like that. In the zoo you've seen a wolf? Okay. Yes. What words do you associate with wolf? What do you think of when you see this picture? What comes to your mind? Anybody? Hunting. Hungry. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> Absolutely. Hungry, hopefully not. Wolf Street movie. Twilight. Wolf movie. Wolf Street movie. Twilight, you said. Me, yeah. Twilight. I'm not sure the, what Wolf Street is. What What is Wolf Street? The wall of the wolf of Wolf Street. Wolfman. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's wolf. The wall of Wall Street. The Wolverine. The movie. Wolverine. Stealthy. Maybe, teacher, maybe nice. fear. 
Fear. Awesome. Who said stealthy? I said it. Eduardo? That was a good one. I like it. Why do you think that a wolf is considered stealthy, Eduardo? Well, I think all wolf dogs and all wild uh, felines like lion or tiger are really careful when they are hunting. So, yeah, they are trying to approach the prey uh, without being noticed. So, yeah. Awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Really good word. Any other words you guys want to talk about or do you have any questions about our first picture? All Sorry. right. What was that? Horrid. Horrid? Forest. Forest. I wrote it on the... Fury. Fury. Oh, sorry. Fury. Okay, if, he's, fury. If, he's, if he gets angry, if you make him angry, he might have fury. That's true. Good job, you guys. No, but, but I mean uh, because of the, of the fur, of the skin, of the wool. Oh, I'm sorry. Furry. <laughs> but also yes. fury. It could be fury as well. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Honestly, I teach English. <laughs> no, you're right. Furry, cozy, say, cuddly. I would also say fascinating. Fascinating. Good word. And very true. Fascinating to watch an animal like a wolf. Beautiful. Okay, next picture. Let's get um, Jonathan. Describe the next picture. Picture number two. Uh, in this picture, I see a bear, bear polar, polar bear. Sorry, and um, I saw a lot of. Uh, I saw uh, maybe a good climb. It's not a sunny day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of s snow. Absolutely. What What would you feel like if you were that bear? What would you feel like if you oh. were that bear? Oh, absolutely, I will feel fear. Feel afraid. I would feel afraid. Excellent. Anybody else want to tell me how they would feel if they were that bear? Alone. 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 Absolutely. Maybe, maybe hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like meat. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, dead, dead meat. <laughs> dead meat. Wolf meal. <laughs> <laughs> I would be worried. Awesome. Worried. Awesome. Good job, you guys. All words that we're going to use later for our writing exercise. So as many words as you can think of to help us write sentences later. Okay, let's move on to our next picture. Um, let's have Alexi. Would you like to describe picture number three? What do you see there? Uh, well. Uh, it's a map. Uh, the but I don't uh, know what what the con ah okay so it's uh, um, it's North America I think it's in North America that's true it's in North America okay. who else would like to give me some details on where this is it's in the north of Canada. Canada. It's in the north of Canada. It's the north of Canada. Perfect. Very good. Who would like to visit? <laughs> Me. Me. You guys are crazy. In summer, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the summer, it's still really cold. I hate to tell you. <laughs> Tell, tell, tell us, is it worth to visit that territories? It is absolutely beautiful, but there is not a lot happening. So if you want to go dancing or if you want to eat good food, <laughs> you probably don't go to the north of, north of Canada. Okay. <laughs> I hear the people are lovely, though. <laughs> if you 
want to play like a Poland beer, we can go there. Exactly, that's where you go, up and down a bit. <laughs> I think the Alaska city there. It's over here, over um, to the left of the Yukon. Well, okay. Okay, so not not right there. Good. Okay, picture number four. Let's have. Hmm. Fidel, describe picture number four. Mm, this is um. It's with um. It's a uh, aurora, boreal aurora, or, or aurora down. I don't know how to say it in English. It's like it's an aurora, right? Aurora borealis. Borealis. Or we call it the northern lights. Has anybody in this class ever seen the aurora borealis? No. No. I wish. No. If I will see this of you, I will. I will think I am. I am in the heaven. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. One more time. If if I see this view in my life, I th I will think I am in heaven. Yes, it's very beautiful. Except for you would not feel like you are in heaven because you'd be freezing cold. <laughs> 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 but that's okay, Ab Abdallah. We could find you a jacket big enough for those arms. It would not be a problem. <laughs> sure. <laughs> If the heaven is the opposite of the of the of the hell, it's okay to feel completely cold, not freezing. No? I suppose. We are in the heaven. We are in heaven there. It looks like heaven. You can say that. That means it looks really beautiful. So nobody here has ever seen the Northern Lights. No. No. I'm su I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Um, I don't live in northern Canada, but every winter we see the northern lights just a little bit. Probably about a week. Every, every year for about a week we see them, and they're quite beautiful. Yeah. I next, next, we're going to have Jose Luis, describe number five. Mm, it's a lot of people. Uh, Eskimals, maybe? I don't know what is the word that you use for describe these people? They are wearing Eskimo. a... Eskimos? Okay. They are wearing a... a maybe... hot clothes? <laughs> can we say mm -hmm. warm clothes? You can say warm clothes. Warm, warm clothes. clothes. Gloves. And... There are small people. I don't know why. Maybe there are not m much food in this co in his their country. It's very cold. Um, <laughs> they look Chinese. Yes, like oh. look Chinese. They are, they have a specific idiom, right? A language, yeah. Well, they would speak. Yeah, they would speak their native tribal language. Eskimo would be that. Mm -hmm. So every tribe has a specific language. There's Blackfoot, there's Cree, there's Eskimo. Um, but usually they speak English as well. Yes, and I think that they don't like the word Eskimals, right? They use other words for... Inuit. Uh, name. Right. I'm not sure. Can you type it, please? Because I don't Inuit. know this word. Inuit. Oops, ah, okay. Got that wrong. Inuit. Inuit. Mm -hmm. Good. What do you think their clothing is made of? Maybe it's a skin of a beer. Yeah, skin, animal skins of various or, kinds, right? Or wolf. Very good. Excellent. Good job, you guys. Okay, we're moving on to south. What words do you associate? It's time to warm up a little bit. What words do you associate with south? Yes. Um, um. Let's ask Stefano. What word do you associate with South? Ah, uh, okay. I associate uh, a warm, 
sometimes a hot climate well so uh, sunny days uh, beaches uh, and uh, see i don't know i associate uh, holidays <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, yeah this is if i think of uh, nature and uh, holidays sometimes excellent yeah. go ahead just say sometimes I also uh, think about uh, some problems uh, uh, we have in Italy about the sun, no? So it depends on the on the subject. It depends on the subject we are talking about. But mainly I I think about uh, uh, these positive things. Yeah. Very good. Does anyone else have something different that they think of? Yeah, it, it is town time. It's Did you say downtime? Ten, ten. Ten time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to ten. Now we're talking. Perfect. Yeah. Anyone else? Mm. All right. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it depends <laughs> of your hemisphere. <laughs> Absolutely, it no. does. That's why everybody yeah. has a different answer. You're absolutely right. Yeah. It definitely depends on your hemisphere. Okay, let's continue. The idiom for south is to go south, which means to lose value or quality. So something that is good, and then if it goes south, it means it becomes less good or worse. Okay? So let's have an example. Maybe we could have Alexi give us an example of something that might go south. Uh, to give you an example of uh, uh, why somebody uh, go up to south, yeah? Or no, something that loses value or quality. Something that is good and then it loses its value. Oh, okay, understood. Uh, Mm. Well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Seems I have no ideas. Okay, uh, let maybe do you have an electronic or something in your house that used to work really good, but now it doesn't work? Uh, Second hand <laughs> electronics, <laughs> electronic devices. Well, so probably. Probably, well, I don't have it uh, in my house, but I can imagine that the old uh, TV uh, could now went, uh, went south, yeah? Perfect. So my TV or my television has really gone south. It means it's not as good as it used to be. <coughs> Somebody else give me an example. Let's practice using this idiom a couple times. Okay, uh, we can say if you if you don't keep in dev dev developing your skills, you will go south. If you don't develop your skills, they will go south. They then your skills. Yeah. Excellent example. Really, really true as well. You need to keep on top of things. Anyone else? My car uh, has gone south. It's a lemon now. <laughs> My car has gone south. It's a lemon. Good job. A lemon, just so everyone knows, a lemon is a car that always has problems. A lemon. Like the fruit. Like the fruit. Okay. <laughs> can we Anyone use it, Abby? Yeah. Uh -huh. can can we use it like get out of here, go south, like an expression, or not? Mm, no, not that I can think of go south. No, no. If you say we're going south, it means we're go we're literally going south of where we are now. Usually somewhere hot and warm, like Mexico. Canadians would say we're going south. People would assume they're going to Mexico. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay, picture number one. Let's have a good description from Javier. Okay, I can see uh, a lot of um, the, uh, a group of people playing volleyball. 
they are enjoying the good weather on the beach uh, they are having they are having fun I think they are enjoying holidays probably perfect uh, good description now give me a couple vocabulary words nouns that you see in the picture a couple of words okay I see a a parasol and a swimsuit. You see a parasol or an umbrella? Yeah, umbrella. Umbrella, swimsuit. Oh, my typing is terrible today. <laughs> umbrella, swimsuit, and what's the thing in the center of the volleyball game? What do we call that, that you have to put the ball over? The Work. net. Net. The net. Perfect. Excellent. Good job. And Next sun, picture. Sun. The sun. Absolutely, the sun is there. Thank you. Jonathan, picture number two. What does this have to do with south? Okay, in this picture I see a cartoon. Uh, I see war four children. Um, maybe this is a, a cartoon about... Um, how can I explain? It, it, I lo I see a mountain and a lot of snow around the. Perfect. Who knows what this cartoon is? South, South Park. Park. South Me Park. Teacher. South Park. Just for the record, I absolutely hate this cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> but it's associated with the word South. Anybody want to share any details about this cartoon or talk about it before we continue? Uh, uh, sorry, Abby, why do you hate uh, this uh, cartoon? Why do I hate it? Yeah. I find it kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> Have you have you watched it before? Alexi, have you watched it before? Yeah, I watched it so uh, much. <laughs> well, uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, of course. Let's put it this way: it's it's not my uh, kind of humor, Alexi. Uh, I I agree that uh, in uh, in in. Mm, well, uh, this cartoon has uh, the good parts and the bad parts. Uh, I, I prefer to skip the bad parts and to concentrate on the good uh, one because it's uh, it's a very original mm, original uh, cartoon. Uh, there is nothing uh, similar, I think. It, uh, no, you're right. Uh, well. So, sorry. Alexi, thank you for speaking up. Yes, Abdallah? No, I didn't. I didn't uh, oh. catch. Uh, how do you find it? How you find uh, this cartoon? I said I find it gross. Gross. Gross, like ew. Uh, like uh, vulgar, something like vulgar. No. Like vulgar, yes. That's a ah. good word for South Park. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, I never, I never watched it, so I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, well, to be fair, to be fair, I have only seen maybe one episode, so maybe I am being <laughs> judgmental. One was enough. Maybe. One was definitely Some, enough. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's enough. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. It was the first and the last episode for you. Exactly, it was. <laughs> I think I was in shock after I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like Alexi says, sometimes shows like that have good parts and bad parts. Let's continue on with the next one. Picture number three. Let's have Abdallah describe it for us. Abdallah. Okay. Actually, that's the the south of uh, America, South America. Mm. Uh huh. Very good. Actually, I don't have more uh, a lot of information about ge geographic, but uh, that's what I get. It. It's the South America because I see Brazil there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just. And, and what uh, do you think of when you? Yeah. 
What do you like about South America? Actually, I don't know anything about it. Oh, okay. But, hmm. I can say I like um, the language, the culture, the food. Does anyone else have anything that they like about South America they'd like to share? Dance, dancing, samba, something like that. I have a dance. In a class full of men, I thought for sure you'd say the women, but I guess I, not. I like, I like, yeah, I like the, a girl from uh, Argentina, Buenos Aires. <laughs> okay, lucky man. <laughs> Perfect, let's continue. Number three. Who knows where this is? It's Rio de Janeiro. What? It is? It is Brazil or Miami. It's Miami. What's this area called in Miami? The Keys. South Beach, Miami. I've been there once in my life. It was very beautiful. Picture number five. Um, Stefano, what do you see in picture number five? I don't know if the word is correct. Leopard? Close. Leopard. Leopard or jaguar. Kita. Not a cheetah. It's a leopard. I don't think it's a cheetah. I'm pretty sure it's a leopard. Leopard. Okay. Leopard. 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 Maybe. Very jaguar. good. Leopard. Okay. Jaguars are black. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think about this animal? What do you think when you look at this picture? It's a beautiful animal. I like uh, it very much. I like all these kind of animals. Lions, Me too. tigers. Yeah, so especially tigers. But uh, I find them very fascinating, very uh, beautiful. Yeah. Good. Fascinating. Or you could say, and maybe majestic. Majestic. majestic yeah. A new word for you. Stylish. Try to expand our vocabulary. Stylish, yeah, they're in, they're definitely in style. Look how chilled out he is. He's cool as a cat. Can we say graceful? Graceful, awesome. Dangerous. Dangerous at times. Dangerous for the the deer and the antelope. Yes. I think the African people in Africa in Africa take him skin and made a bags or uh, clothes or something like that. Yeah, unfortunately you're right. That's true. <laughs> Would you buy a leopard skin bag? <laughs> no, no sure. absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Not definitely. <laughs> Under clothes only. Good. It's Good. not dangerous <laughs> After his lunch, he, he is taking a nap. I know, he's totally chilled out on this tree. He's extremely relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, relaxed. He has a food coma Perfect. after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, picture number six. Over to our next picture. Eduardo, do you want to describe it? Yes. I can see two rainbow parrots. <laughs> I see two rainbow colored, rainbow colored parrots. Romantic, romantic parrots. <laughs> yeah, rainbow. Yeah, I messed it up a little bit. <laughs> they, they, they are over a branch in a tropical forest, I suppose. I can see a lot of a uh, last vegetation. Nice, good word. Yeah. There is lush vegetation. You are a novelist. Casing <laughs> each other. He's a show off. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask Fidel a question. Fidel, when you look at this picture, what do you think about people who have parrots for pets? What do you think about people who have parrots for pets? Uh, depends on because if you are a 
I don't know if you're a rich person who have a huge environment for that for that uh, bird um, where they can fly free or do the same things that they do in their in their natural places. Uh, I don't know I they, but the kind of people that have pets and uh, hidden or like um, um, I don't know like um, entertainment uh, I think that is really really bad. Okay. I don't know if, if you got me that. Awesome, good answer. And depends on the regulation of the country. It depends on the environment that the owner can provide for it. That's a really good answer. Thank you for sharing that with us, Fidel. Javier, what do you think? Do you know anybody who has a parrot for a pet? What do you think uh, about it? Well, I, I, I know someone who has a, a parrot. Um, I think uh, the parrot lives quite well. <laughs> he has a good life, I think. <laughs> it has he has so a, it has a, any, any, all kinds of of cares. Uh, they go to the bed, mm, medicines, food. Uh, I think he lives more uh, he lives better than better than a lot of people do. Yeah, some people are known to treat their pets awesomely, right? Some people treat their pets really good. Okay, well that is that is all the time we have for looking at our pictures and discussing them. So now what I want you guys to do, everybody has the document I assume, I'll put it in the chat box just in case. I want everybody to write a sentence about one of the pictures in the document so far. Okay, so choose one of the pictures, there's lots of vocabulary for you to choose from. And I want you to try to challenge yourselves. Maybe write something in the present perfect tense or the present perfect continuous, maybe the past tense, and then I am going to help you make corrections, OK? Any questions about what the assignment is? Uh, we have to choose a, a photograph. Choose a photograph under the topics north or south. Choose one photograph and write me a sentence. But a, a, a good sentence, something that's a little bit more creative, not just a simple one, okay? But uh, the, the pictures we have talked about or different Yes, pictures? the pictures that we have talked about. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we have to write in If you want, if you want, write it in the verbling chat. The verbling and chat. if you want, you can use one of our two idioms, up north or go south, okay. if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll give you guys a few minutes and then we'll take a look.
We in South Amman. We All right, I'll let you guys keep writing and we'll get started with what we have. Javier, can you read your sentence for me? Yes. Mm, if you try to go up north quickly in your life, you could end up going south faster than expected. <laughs> this is a great sentence. So obviously punctuation, I just have to correct it. If you try to go up to north too quickly in your life, the correct form of two, good adjective, in your life, good preposition. Now we're going to use a comma here. You could end up going south faster than expected. Absolutely perfect grammar. Nicely done. Thank you. Javier, I'm impressed and you have a great sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> using, using both idioms too. Nicely done. Okay, Stefano, could you read yours please? Yeah. Last year I went up north and saw the most beautiful nature show I've ever seen. The Aurora Borealis. I don't know what people used to this show think of it, but for me it was a magic experience. Awesome. Very, very nicely done. So the first part here, even your use of the colon, the Aurora Borealis, is perfect. Excellent grammar, no problems at all. I don't know what people used to this show think of it. We have a problem with our sentence structure, okay? I don't know what people are used to thinking of it, but for me uh, it was a, now how can we change magic, how can we change mag magic to use it, make it, turn it into an adjective so it can describe the experience? Um, magical. Oh, that's correct. Poor Stefano didn't get a chance. <laughs> Sorry. Stefano, do you understand uh, a magical experience? Yeah, yeah, yes, uh, absolutely. Just uh, for the first part, uh, I uh, um, wanted to express uh, what mm -hmm. people that maybe that are used to it, to it, to this show. So what people like you that uh, every week uh, you. Ah, okay. Yeah, so maybe it was the correct, but I, I, this was what I uh, I wanted to express. What I don't know. What people... okay? We're gonna change it. Yeah. I don't know how people. How people that are used to this show. That are used. To, to yeah. To seeing it. To seeing to seeing it. Yeah, yeah. It's. it's a... I don't know how people that are used to seeing it feel about it. Yeah. But for me, it was a magical experience. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Excellent. Really good ideas. And like I said, your first sentence was absolutely perfect. Interesting punctuation, too. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, next we have Jonathan. Okay, I'll do teacher. the corrected one. Uh -huh. the bomb Can you please read it for us? Absolutely. 
The bond of action got sold last week in Wall Street because the company lowered their sales in this month. Okay, perfect. Now you can say the bonds. Ah, the bond. bond is well. Okay. Now what do you mean of action? I think that is bond teacher. Action is uh, when you have a company and you are the owner of the totally of the both of the of this company. Okay. Okay, you prob you might be right and maybe I'm just not familiar with that. Now, how would you say go south in the past tense, Jonathan? What's the past tense of go? When, sorry. <laughs> there you go. When yeah, yeah. south last last week in Wall Street because the company now we're going to say lowered their past tense, lowered their sales. You can say either this month or during this month. During this month, I said. Okay, excellent job. So the only thing is you change that idiom to the past tense and everything else was really good. Excellent use of vocabulary. What picture were you referring to? Uh, sorry, DJ, I can't hear you well. Could you all repeat me? Just about the idiom. Uh, I take the idioms. Okay. I take cool. the idiom uh, well, so. Very good. Okay, next. Jose Luis, can you read your little paragraph for us? <laughs> <laughs> I choose, I choose the picture of parrots. I want to talk about to have a parrot like pet. I'm not agree with this situation because I don't like see this kind of animals in cases. Because they must be free animals, it's very important to be aware with this situation. You should not catch these animals for diversion of, or a pet. You could buy a dog or cat like pet is better. Okay, thank you. Excellent, excellent ideas here in these sentences. I want to talk about having a parrot, having a parrot as a pet. Mm, okay. As a pet. Okay. Now here, I am not agree. Can what would you? How could you replace "am not"? I agree I or I disagree. I disagree. Yes. I I disagree or I don't agree. Ah, Do not. I don't agree. Yes. With the situation because I don't like. I don't like to see this kind of animal or these kinds of animals, however you, however you choose, these kinds of animals, and they're not cases, what are they? They're yes. cages. Cages, okay. Can I Very use cool. jails or not? Can you use what? Jails? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well... Well, you would be if you use a jail, it would be like an idiom expression. It wouldn't be a literal what we call it. It would be a oh. cage. Okay. Okay. Then you can start your sentence with because because you're because they must be free animals. It is very important to be aware of this situation. Prepositions are so difficult in English. Aware of this situation, and we're going to start a new sentence. You mm -hmm. should not catch this animal for diversion or to have as a pet. You could buy a dog or cat. You could buy a dog or a cat. Or you know what you could say? You could say having a dog or a cat as a pet is better. Mm, thank you, teacher. By a dog or a cat as your pet. We're going to go like that just because we're out of time. If you have any questions about your corrections, you can always send me a message after class, okay? Thank you, teacher. Yes. Uh, next is, good job, Jose Luis. Fantastic ideas there. Ali, can you read yours? Yes. <laughs> Read it for us, Lee. Uh, uh, I about uh, about uh, that. 
it's uh, it's very difficult to find food recently. My God, I'm missing all days. It was tons of food around me. The taste of antelopes goes south, by the way. <laughs> I love it. You're you're personifying the the leopard. It's very difficult to find food lately. Lately. My God, I'm missing the old days. And then you can say, because food is plural, you can say, there was tons of food around me. The taste of antelopes, now we're talking about the taste, has gone south, by the way. <laughs> Ali, that was fantastic. I love it. That was a great sentence. Great sentence. So you got to be careful with um, whatever the noun is. You want to make sure that your subject agrees with it, right? Okay. Um, Anwar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you read yours for us? Uh, picture one. Uh, that's me. That's me. On the right of the of picture. With my friends, we were in the, in the South America, planning and getting a tan. Do, do muscles need the sun? And if you're still thinking like that, we will go south. Okay, I think I missed your, your phone. If you're still here, okay. Let's see, good job. So you are picture number one under south, is what you're telling me. That's me yeah. on the right of the picture. There we go. That's me on the right of the picture with my friends. We were in South America and playing and getting tanned because the muscles, <laughs> because our muscles need sun. New, new sentence. If we're still thinking like that, we will go south. I'm going to take away and. Excellent. Good job. Any questions about that one? No, thank you. That's me on the right of the picture with my friends. And you can say getting tanned or you can say getting a tan, depending on what you prefer to say, okay? Okay. And. Carlos, read your sentence for us. When I went to the window, I saw a leopard 15 meters ahead of me. I think we heard because it up uh, is run not run. It's run away. Whoops. Did I just delete? Stefano, I think I just muted you because I didn't realize you were Carlos. <laughs> you want Who's Carlos? It's me. Who? It's Fidel. Fidel, you're Carlos. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. Can you um, read it again? Okay, when I went to... Because it ran away very quickly and it lost in the forest. It's run, not run. I, I realized the mistake right now. Because it ran. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you're right. Because it ran away very quickly and you could say, We lost it. Because you were watching it. We lost it in the forest. Okay. We lost it in the forest. When I went to Orlando, I saw a leopard 50 meters ahead of me. And then you can say, I think we scared it because it ran away very quickly and we lost it in the forest, period. Awesome. Good job, Fidel. Thank you for your sentence. Really good. The only thing was just that one issue at the end, but other than that, it was perfect. Um, Alexi, your turn. The last one. Oh, 
ok? Uh, should I read it? Yes, yes please read it for us. Okay. Uh, I envy uh, the wild animals that live and die in harmony with uh, their inner sen in essence. It would be nice uh, to live uh, one of the lives as a wild animal. Wow. Alexi, nicely done. Fantastic sentence. I envy the wild animals that live and die in harmony with their inner essence. Perfect sentence. It would be nice to live. One, one. Uh, to live on uh, mm -hmm. as the next lives uh, so of a wild animal. Sorry, it's a uh, one. Uh, to live one of uh, so the, the one of next lives. On, on next to live on as one of so from the beginning I uh, missed the uh, letter E at the end of the uh, word one so after the leaf should be uh, uh, the word one yes Abby about incarnation to live one of the next lives as a wild animal it would be nice to live on as a wild animal for one of your next lives. Is that what you mean? Uh, yes, to live for one of the next lives. So, okay, I get it. So to live on as one of the wild animals in our in my next life. Mm -hmm. Like that? Uh, yeah. We Great ideas. The meaning is the correct. Excellent. Now, did I miss anybody? I feel like we should have one more, no? Yes, you miss me, but don't worry. Eduardo, where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. No, it's okay because I'm 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 okay for the next hour. Um, I'll stop my broadcast and we'll do your sentence.